afraid to consciously ask, please, may I do this? Give me a sign that I should do this. She has devised this thing in her heart. And she wants to go and learn how to do it. So those establishing these steps that she wants to pursue would be those with care and charge over her. So in your environment, who is it that you could lean on to help establish the step? Because you are not created to figure out everything by yourself. That's, that's not your, your goal and your journey. You have to ask for help. You need a counsel of advisors. You need people you can trust, people you can depend on, people with experience, whether as mentors. Lean on other people who have the knowledge and the wisdom and ask them, well, how is this thing done? So you understand what this desire is that you have, what it requires. So as you get up on it, Rocky goes on your drop, you know, you had a mentor, you had consulted with somebody, you're sharing this journey with somebody else who says, yeah, man, that apartheid too. That just means that you get up one at a time then, which is good because we want to get up. So when you drop, just figure out how to get up again. And you start cruising now. You hold on to the edges of the sofa and the thing. And you start shuffling a little way until eventually you've developed enough balance to take two steps by yourself. Lot of work went into those two steps. Drop same way. Three step now. Drop same way. Four. Drop same way. Until you realize you're not drop again. Now, what do you do as a human? We're meant to grow. So the fact that she has learned to walk. She don't say, all right. Yeah, good. You know what she do now? Make another plan. Me want to move faster. So me need to learn how to run. That's another goal where she said, no, you know. Me want to learn how to run. First couple of times when she move fast, them go so drop, drop, and she drop again. She have to walk. You know, she have to take a light, like a jog. And then now she can run. To the point where she are running in one direction and I look back. So, and those who are um establishing our steps the parents have to say hey keep keep your eyes in front look ahead of you don't run and look behind you look ahead so there she is now with another desire with another goal that she's reaching and trying to pursue but she keep on a set goals right she want to climb up on things that she never climb up on she not see nobody climb up on it she not the evidence say the dress i must climb on right but she sit down and she say you know feel like we can climb go up on that something there Mm-hmm. I mean, I think if I ask them to carry me up there, I'm going to make me go up there. So my foot just climb when they now look. She make our plans, right? Now, when it is not established and ordained, we're going to interrupt. And it just can't happen. And you'll get a lesson in that moment. As an adult, you have to make a distinction now between what interruption serves the purpose um, of protecting you from something. So it's, a, it's, it's reasonable that you not do that. It's not good for you to take that course of action versus interruptions that are just meant to keep you training you know in training you're not quite ready for you to top of the mountain yet so you're gonna keep dropping so your, your legs can get a little stronger your arms can get a little fitter your your, your your guidance or your compass can become a little clearer for you so you know if you're going up the left side or the right side so until you are properly trained and skilled you're going to continue falling but you have to have that power of discernment now to know when you're being stopped to do to go back into training right or you're being stopped to change course that comes from strong connection and spiritual relation with your source whatever you define that source to be you have to be settled and still enough to listen and know what the message is now it take a lot it's not something that's easy i don't have like a strategy strategy to say this is how you know when this is an established step and this is ordained and this is part of the divine order i can't know that for anybody Matter of fact, mama, papa, sometimes I don't even know that for myself. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I keep on about my toe because I need to learn how to walk on the road here or if I don't have to on the road not at all. You understand? If it's under curfew, I'm sure I really don't want um, I don't know for myself. Much less now, I forgot to know it for my child. Then forgot to know it for my close friend. Them. Then forgot to know it for everybody else. That is too much. And I'm here trying to know for myself. So, I have to focus and see what, what is the, the lesson here so for me. What am I supposed to hear? Right? Because I feel like I miss it. I dare say I'm going to know if I'm for continue and just persevere and be persistent and stick to the task and work it out and just fight the good fight and, you know, climb through and rise and swim and all of the something them. Great. Yeah? Or, if it cancel, if the journey cancel, I'm going to pack the bag them and say, all right, the road here, all right, and on my road. So I forgot to find a different part. A different part is I have to pursue a different part because it's not my part. 
sorry, that's a Jamaican play on the word path. We tend to put R's before T-H's sometimes. So I was just making a, a joke there in case it went over your head. <laughs> so, right. So there are times when I have to be sitting down and waiting for some clarity because I don't know if I should put some more energy into this task here. You know, if I'm pushing on this task and the task isn't getting to a successful completion because I'm not trying hard enough, because I'm going to ask enough people for help, because I'm have the right training and resources, or if I'm going to do the task as somebody else something. And me just sit on the night and decide, say, me, I'm going to try because I'm a persistent. So sometimes I feel just ease back and say, come here now. You know, I may mean, take a step, but the step now established. <laughs> so what, what am I, what's the next thing? And there's clarity that comes in the spirit, but you have to patient and listen. So when I ask for guidance and clarity, I now sit like a time and I say, all right, I need 15 minutes before I know if, before we find a bus or take a taxi. And I saw, and I saw it go. It requires patience. Um, and so I can't be in a haste to solve the problem when I'm asking for a solution because I don't have the solution. So how me must I hurry anybody for bring the solution? Come, I don't have it. If I did have it, I could have used it quick, quick and solve the problem. But I realize I'm waiting on it from somebody else. And when you wait, you have to wait with patience. Because if you wait impatiently, what is not the answer? You're going to see that come and say, oh, finally, you don't know me wait. Come here. You never wait for the answer for reach your foot. You run go meet it. I say, come, make someone put you. So you have to wait with patience. And know so when now your time, they're going to come on your foot. But ultimately, I believe that I have to be moving. I have to be taking a step. I have to be making an attempt. I have to be pursuing that, that goal, you know, setting up that vision. Um, and of course, even in setting up the vision, I am seeking clarity. So I don't just make a goal and say, yeah, I want to build a business there. Mm -mm. I sit down with that a little bit too. What in my skill set? What in my life? What lessons have I learned that tell me this is a good next step? And if I don't have any experience, who around me and in my environment can give me some more information so I can make an informed decision because I don't get back my time, right? And, it's, and sometimes you can't even get back the money. So how do I make sure I'm not wasting the time, the energy and the focus or the money just because this sounds like a good idea in my head? So even while making the plans, a big part of that is seeking some evidence of it being established, even if it is not completely clear. So no, I'm not waiting until I have a complete perfect business plan. I'm not waiting on um, an investor um, or something like that for me to know that this is a good idea. But there are other cues that I use, you know, sit down and do some research. Think about the reason I want to do this is the reason I want to do this to prove somebody wrong or because I want to serve this group of people in a meaningful way. Am I clear on how I would show up as my best self every day? How I going to create the space in the calendar? How I going to manage the process and make sure that what is to be done gets done? Am I clear on that part? And then I start. That don't mean no mistake not going to make. That don't mean say some things not going to go wrong. But I'm clear on the purpose and the why. You know, what I'm trying to bring to this. How my skill set is valuable here. Who I can serve. Who I can help. Who will, who will gain from this process. I'll gain skill and experience, yes, but who else stands to benefit from something that I'm uniquely positioned to do or provide? I will start. And it will serve. It will serve who it is meant to serve. And when the time is up again, when it's about to establish, you will get the clarity that you need. But that comes from having a healthy spiritual life. Now, that doesn't mean say. You're getting a spirit. I never get in a spirit yet. I don't know what that feel like. I don't know if everybody's supposed to get in a spirit. But my spiritual journey is very personal. It's very regular and constant. So I ever pray and I listen and I pray and I meds and I watch and I, you know, take the notes. And even as I take the notes, I apply all the lesson at the same time. You know, so sometimes life I teach me the same lesson now, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. I say, all right. All right, I'm going to get it now. I'm going to understand. I'm going to understand the lesson. I'm going to apply the lesson. Okay? This is the 10th time in the ring. I'm going to want to talk down again. So, I'm going to learn the lesson now. I'm going to let me learn it. Right? So, if the fact that I'm alert and I pay attention, that means I'm always going to do the right thing. Right? So, I have to also, you know, just be conscious of that. That I learn. I learn. Right? I may learn by doing. But I take the steps so the step can be established. I notice the scripture never say. A man devises 
a, a man devises a plan in his heart or a woman devises a plan in her heart and the Lord ordains her seat. I know the seat, the Lord ordains her dream. I know the dream, the Lord ordains her step. So you have to take action and you have to move. So that is the kind of perspective that I come to um, I come to life with. Oh dear, somebody said I'm talking too fast. I'm so sorry, Jay, my talk. Where are you from? I actually have a fast talking issue. Um, yes, I'm working on it though. Um, I was explaining in a, a video that I was doing recently that I learned public speaking as a debater. So in that high pressure situation, like you're on a clock and you're on a timer. So you have to put all the time. This like the person is over there saying five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one, 30 seconds, five seconds, three, two, one. Time is up. So while you're speaking, you're like, because if you don't get everything in, you lose marks. And if you keep speaking after the timer, you lose marks. And if you lose too much marks, you lose the match. So um, as a, a feature and a hazard of that conditioning, I tend to talk really fast. Or it sounds very fast to persons who aren't native Jamaican speakers or not used to hearing the Jamaican accent. So the, the accent mixed with the speed of the words, I know will make it hard sometimes. So I accept. When, when I saw that note a while ago, I didn't feel no way because, yeah, I know I, I talk fast. It's a part of the conditioning there. Working on it, working on it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what I really wanted to share with you. My perspective on Proverbs 16 verse 9, which is that human beings will devise a plan in their hearts, but it's the creator who establishes our steps. And I don't take that to mean don't plan anything because the creator has another plan that when mash up your plan. I take that to mean plan with wisdom, with purpose, with a, 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 a direct line or connection to the creator. Okay, you can't just plan over this or so and just around a plan. So plan with wisdom. Yes. And understand that as you take the step, if it is the correct step, it will be established. But sometimes, even if it is not the correct step, creator of a way to establish it the same way and turn the mess into success. That is also something I know. And I'll share in another life how, how mess became success for me. I mean, more than one time, things that quite naturally could have mashed up anybody turning to the best blessing and the greatest opportunities. And I'm sure in your own life, you can think of those examples too, where it not makes sense. Say you thrive from in that situation there. Say you're in the dump, you're in the graveyard, and is flowers a bloom and new life a come. It not makes sense, but it happened. So I'll share that in another life. But I just wanted to present my own perspective on it because we're at that point in the year where... You will have that kind of energy thrown at you like, where you go, where you apply, where you go with vision board. You know, say, you remember 2020, where you do? Eh? You know, say, we just build and just chill and just go and look and see what I go on. Eh? Where you do? You'll get a lot of that energy. And I don't want that to discourage you. There are too many stories of people who adapted to the change last year and ended up richer than they were in 2019. It never in had an original plan, but they looked at the opportunity and remained flexible, got the clarity, got the discernment, and took a step, and that step was eventually established. We have a lot of people who had to struggle to finish school, but they never said, boy, this is an idea, everybody drop out, let me drop out, uh-uh. Them find them footing, right? Them catch back them balance, and they continue to step, and so they move with a sense of purpose and direction and meaning and passion, and focus the step got established so don't use last year as the benchmark for 2021 like for me i have 30 years on this earth one year out of the 30 now to teach me everything about life mm -mm. me now make one year teach me everything about every year mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. i have too much year for learn from mm -mm. too much life experience for learn from so one set of experiences now broke my vibes and i don't want it to break yours either 
So the last thing I'll share with you is that if you need that kind of energy, man, like if where you are, your environment doesn't encourage you to thrive, it's not encouraging you to think beyond what you have. It's not encouraging you to step out boldly on these ambitions and these dreams. You can join our, our gladiators or 2021 um, Life on Purpose Mastermind is happening right now. We're in our second week and what we've just completed is the Life Audit Program. We've done our seven days of self-love. Um, we're doing our battle board session this weekend, but last weekend we did our vision board session. And we have a WhatsApp group that allows us to kind of connect with each other, share the journey, the rough stuff and the good stuff so that you're not alone even as you're apart and maybe isolated depending on the realities of your community and your country there is a, a tight-knit community of people who are so committed to zoning in on the goals and achieving what they know they have the capacity and the authority to pursue who believe that if them step out you know after giving thought and purposeful deliberation when them step out the step are going to be established if you're looking to connect with more people like that then our 2021 mastermind is for you. For January, the focus is just getting the mind right, making yourself comfortable with the idea of being successful, getting comfortable with the idea of deserving good things, deserving better relationships, deserving more zero in your bank account, deserving better knowledge and a broader skill set. Like, first we have to establish, say, yeah, we deserve that. That no more than me. That's not for some people and not for me. That's something that I can also have. It's not an exclusive opportunity. I can create the access. If I don't see the circumstance, I can create the circumstance. If I see no evidence of it being possible in my community, then I will create the possibility. If that's the kind of thinking you need to kind of pull you out of the rut, out of that sense of, Lord, I can't bother this too hard. What sense this make? I have no support. I, it just like an uphill bottle. Click the link in my bio. It's not too late to join. Um, because January is self-focused, the pace allows you to catch up as the week progresses so as you as you sign up right now you'll get access to the life audit you'll get access to the seven day um self-love journey and whenever your day one is the first day you sign up is the day one of your journey so you can start um the vision board party is something that you can also watch and and use it to guide your vision board um process and in the battle board session, which we start this weekend, so if you, if you sign up before the before Sunday, you'll be able to join us live for that um, the battle board session. And then as we go on each week, we add new tools, add new resources. But it's not too late. If you haven't signed up yet, just click the link in my bio and get registered. We're doing this all year, getting the mind, getting the heart, getting the spirit in a place of I deserve, I am worthy, I am capable, I am able. And once you believe that you are capable and able and you have the authority and you're not doing nothing wrong by seeking more and reaching further and going for higher, once you accept that it's okay to do that, you know, it's fine to do that. I'm not greedy, I'm not craven, I'm not ungodly, right? It's okay to do that. You'll be surprised how much harder you start to work, how different the conversations become between you, your friends, your family members, your co-workers. You start talk different. You start think different. You start want different, like desire different things. It just permeates every, every part of your being just because you're giving yourself mental permission and you've surrounded yourself with people who affirm that and not tell you, say, oh, where you go? We yeah, do. You change up so. Eh? I go like say, yeah, uh, yeah, smaddy. No. This community believes that you are smaddy. And if you act like you're other than smaddy, we're going to remind you, say, yeah, smaddy, who deserve good things. So, step up. Step up a thing. Like, yeah, rise to the occasion. Yeah, yeah, 2021. 20, we're yeah, up. Up. We're up it up. <laughs> we're up it up. So thank you to everybody who has signed up so far. We have persons as far as Japan. I'm so excited. Japan, Canada, UK, US, um, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Jamaica, of course. My 876 fam is in a building. Um, and a few other countries. I'll go through one day because the country codes, I don't know all of them. I saw one that said you, you something. And I thought it was United Arab Emirates. It's not. It's actually Ukraine. Ukraine. So yeah, big up yourself. Happy to have you. Happy to have you all. Oh, somebody's here from Japan. Hey. <laughs> so thank you all so much for joining this live. I'll definitely save it. 
Um, and as you know, my goal is to try and do one live every single day. So far, I've only been consistent with the every Monday live. You know, from 2021 start, I've done a live every Monday. And I think I'm at 12 lives so far out of 15 days or 11 lives. Working on it. Working on it. Because there's a lot of, you know, reflection and information that I have here. So and I'm like, yo, you have to share this. You, have to you, have to, you know, like I have it already. It, it is serving me already. It not cost me for just say, eh. You know, and just share it out there. So, love and blessings, everybody. Ooh, Tassie says she's a part of the Gladiators, and it's awesome. Thank you. Guys, click the link in bio. This weekend, we're going to turn it up again, right? Just like everybody just up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Um, we'll get a little bit deeper in our book club for January as well. But yeah, there's so much to do to just kind of get excited about life and just feel centered and focused. So, I'm looking forward to engaging more and more of you so click the link check it out see if it's something you're interested in um and we'd be happy to have you not too late so jump in and run come all right happy friday and enjoy your weekend everybody and remember you devise these plans in your heart nothing wrong with that devise them with wisdom yeah get the clarity and the discernment come with it from a space of abundance and not scarcity i think i run out of my I'm a, a child of the creator, right? So there's some kind of authority and godly essence with upon me. So I'm going to use that godly essence there and, and picture myself in the future. You know, what, what do I want to have? How do I want to feel? Who do I want, who do I want to be? And then I'm going to create that vision. Write it down somewhere. Make a vision board. Set some reminder on my phone. Tell some friends. Say, you know what say? My things I'm going to on a beach. Yeah, like the whole earth, I just bear water, so me just live on concrete. I feel like I'm flipping on a beach. I'm going to just get some money and buy a piece of land on a beach. But I'm laughing for you. Right? But you know, say when you smell fresh air, you just feel different. When you hear the birds that are coming in, you, you know, when you look out in your ear, the ocean, you just feel, you just give energy. You know, say, I, I this here belong. So yeah, I'm going to live on a beach. Let them laugh. Design that plan in your head. And then go work on it because as you step, the Lord establishes the step. God establish the step. The Creator establish the step. So don't be afraid to take a step, even if the plan is not, you know, defined to a T. Decide, like in His Spirit, what do you think you have the authority to enjoy in this world? You know, someone would think that poverty are it alone, like. You know, my mother did poor, my grandmother did poor, my great grandmother did poor. They are great, great, great grandmother did poor. So poverty, I do it. So I'm going to accept that. And when you see wealth, I come here and say, No, sir, I can't be that. I'm going to I can't be for me. I must somebody else, some of that, you know. Just excuse myself, God. That's not my son. What you think you deserve and what you think you have authority to have and to hold and to enjoy is, is going to determine how you show up in the world. And it's going to determine how you treat opportunities when you see them. You either going to say, Oh, yeah, I mind this. Or I go, Mm-mm. That must be nice. Must be adding to somebody else because it cannot be mine. So you have to first think that you deserve it. Whether it is joy, peace, devotion and commitment, respect, um, a house to live in, a car to drive, um, happy children, happy marriage, whatever it is you think that you deserve, that's what you're going to work on and that's what you're not going to compromise on. But you have to first believe, say, yeah, if I have it, it look good for me. Yeah, it look good. Sit down side of me right here, so it belong here. When I see that come, I shift myself and make room. Yeah, you, you can't stay side of me. We look good together. From I see I come, I see me I come too. Because things like you belong here, so side of me. But you have to believe that, you know. You have to believe that so you can make room for it. So, thank you again for joining my live. And I'll see you definitely on Monday. And... Saturday, Sunday, you know, mega work out for another life, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> Take care, guys. Take care. Chanel says she's bought her car, but she can't drive that well yet. We will learn. Chanel, you're gonna learn. Yeah, you're gonna learn, Chanel. You don't worry yourself. You take time and drive at 10 miles per hour. Make police stop you and answer if the car heavy. Right? But just take your little time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Big up yourself and congratulations on that, mama. Mwah. More care in the future. You're gonna have two care enough. You're gonna sell the first one for buy the second one. Me done I declare that for you already, Chanel. You're gonna have a second care and you're not sell the first one for buy the second one. You're gonna have two care. You're gonna knock out piece of the driveway for create a second space for the second care. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Samaste. I believe in you. All right. Blessings, everybody. Take care.